The hip drum, o t s u z u m i and the small shoulder drum, k o t s u z u m i are now played on their own. Notice the effective contrast between the harder cracks made by the hip drum and the softer, more liquid beats of the shoulder drum. Squeezing the encircling ropes to create extra tension on the skins, thereby raising or lowering the pitch, controls the drum's tone. Now comes a spectacular section of music performed in the Ozatsuma style, in which the shamisen players show special skill in handling the large plectrum. Ozatsuma was originally a separate school of music with a grand and heroic air, but it has now been incorporated into the Nagaota school. It is often used to introduce, in a dramatic and powerful way, the climax of the dance. The singer describes the surroundings once more in preparation for the final scene. We are transported to a holy mountain in China called Mount s e i d o r among the towering peaks of which there is a wonderful stone bridge over a deep ravine. We should imagine being by the foot of that bridge now. Yet, we're told, no ordinary man may cross over the bridge to the other side. Through the deep compassion of the Buddha's law, the bridge has appeared of itself as a miracle. The singers tell us to wait just a little longer, for the time will soon be here for a holy apparition to materialize before our very eyes. Stage assistants have brought on large bushes of peonies to complete the scene.
now follows a section of percussion and flute lifted directly from the older Nor play, Shakyo. The long, high-pitched calls made by some of the drummers are timing cues for other musicians and help to establish rhythm. At the same time, they are important in adding to a feeling of suspense. Gentle beats of the stick and shoulder drums represent single drops of dew falling from the peonies. The previous drum pattern continues, gradually increasing in tempo and serving to usher in the spirit of the lion. The drum pattern is named Raijo. <laughs> <laughs> 